Hello people, how are you doing? Today we are going to discuss about a very special topic, resolving merge conflicts in Git. Very recently, I have taken a survey on various social media platforms like Twitter, LinkedIn and YouTube. So what I found, I found that most of the people acknowledge that they face challenges in terms of resolving merge conflicts in Git in a correct way. So I thought why not to make a very short video about it so that I can actually take you through with a lot of examples of how to resolve merge conflicts in Git. Resolving merge conflict in Git not only about the technical perspective that you have to think from, you also have to think from like what is required for your project and based on that you have to take the call. Alright, so in this short video you are going to learn all that and I want you to practice as you are going through this video. Alright, so without any further delay, let's get started. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we keep sharing a lot of great content in this channel. Alright, so let's get started. Do you like stories? I have one story to tell. So let's consider two individuals. You know, one is Alex and another is Tina. They are working in an organization working on the same code base that is hosted somewhere at the remote, maybe GitHub. In their daily life, they are, as they're working on the same project, there are higher chances that they will be touching the same files individually. So on a fine day, what Alex is doing, Alex pulling some changes from the GitHub or the remote to his local and then making some changes into the abc.txt file and then pushing it back. In the same time, on the, you know, Tina, without being aware of that what Alex has done in the abc.txt file, she also made changes in the same file and trying to push it. But as her changes, her changes are kind of a bit behind than what Alex has done and Git being a version control system, always keep track of each of these files in changes in terms of versions, it is going to reject that particular push. So what Tina understand from this one? Hey, probably somebody has made changes into this file, abc.txt file. So I have to first pull the changes from remote and then see what changes has been done and then I'll be finally pushing it. So with that hope, she pulled the changes. But once she pulled the changes, what she gets? She gets merge conflicts. And as Tina gets that, now Tina has to fix the merge conflict. We will get back to this story, friends. But before that, let us understand what exactly merging means and why exactly merge conflict arises. So what is merge? Git is a version control system. So it means that for a single file, there will be multiple versions. One version could be created by my friend, another version could be by me, another version could be somebody else. And they would have changed the same file, done the same, some kind of modification into it. Ultimately, all these versions has to be merged and create a new version, which is the latest and greatest that somebody has to start working on. By the way, if you don't understand some of these terminologies or you're just getting started a beginner with Git, I've already created a video for Git b6 for beginner so you can just go ahead and have a look into it i have posted the link of that video into the description of this particular video so go ahead and catch that particular video all right so coming back to this one a merged file a merged version of the file will be created so when a merged version of the file gets created there are two things happen one is changes and the possibilities so what kind of changes in a merge file can happen the changes can be add update or remove it means that from this particular version, from this particular version, there could be something got added or something got removed or something got updated, right? And then these two things got merged and then created a new file. Now, when these changes happen, there could be two possibilities. These changes that I just now spoke about, add, remove and update would have happened into a different regions. It means for this particular file, the changes, some addition would have happened at the top. This particular, the another version of this file, the changes would have happened at the bottom. So if I just merge this two, one change at the top, another change at the bottom. Okay, so it's a different region of the file. Another thing can happen is in the same region of the file. So for example, in some version, this particular line has got updated. At the other version, the same line got updated. Now again, if we are merging, then this update has to take care of. Now, the, what Git can do? Git can actually tackle the changes in the different regions by itself while merging. Where Git don't take the decision if the changes in the different, you know, in the same region. So in that particular case, Git doesn't know whether I have to take keep this change or keep this change or have to keep both the changes. And that is the time the manual intervention require. That is the time you have to resolve much conflict as a developer. So I hope you understand this thing. 
Now let us get back to our story and see what Tina is going to do. So first Tina, what Tina is going to think? Tina is going to think, hey, what should I do? Should I remove Alex changes and keep mine? Or should I keep Alex changes and remove mine? Or should I keep both the changes? Or another possibility would be, should I remove, you know, both, both the changes? So uh, what exactly Tina should do? It all depends on what is the use case of the application they are working on. If something like that, Tina feels that, hey, Alex changes is no more valid after my changes, so I'm going to remove Alex changes and just keep mine. Or both the changes are valid, I'm going to keep both, or I'm going to remove both. That call that Tina has to take, that's the manual intervention. That is the manual intervention thought process of resolving merge conflict. Once Tina decides that, Tina is going to perform few steps. One is Tina will make changes based on the decision she has been taken. Then she will stage the changes. It means she will do the git add of the file. Again, if you are new to this, please go through the beginner's video first so that you understand these terminologies. Then finally, Tina is going to do a git commit. Now the thought process, the decision taking and doing all these things together is called resolving merge conflict. After this only merge conflict is going to get resolved. Then finally what Tina is going to do attempt another push and this time the push becomes successful. So this is the story guys. How was the story of Alex and Tina? Now if you understood that story and if you face this story in your daily life, what we're going to do now, we will see practically how to tackle certain situations when we get much conflict. Well, for that, okay, so let's get started with that and where we will be seeing some of the situations and we'll be learning from it. I would like to request you to come back to this video, the, the portion of it where we'll be showing example and try out by yourself. Then you will learn it much, much faster. Okay, so let's get into the examples right away. Now we will learn from the example. For that, I have a repository called merge-demo with bunch of files over here. One of the files that we are interested in is called task-list.md. Let's go to this file and see the content. It has only two bulleted points. One is it and read. And this particular repo merge hyphen demo is under the account called green roots okay now what we'll be doing is like we'll be making some changes to this file and from another account we'll try to make the changes to the same file and try to create a situation of merge conflict and then try to resolve that okay so first thing first is like i'll be making some changes to this file now i'm making these changes directly from the github because to just for the demo purpose so eat read and let's put something like maybe gym and then I'm going to update this file directly into the main. This is only for the demo. Don't do it for your actual project. So I see it, read and Jim is there. Now in the command prompt, you know, my hard drive, I have actually cloned this particular project as another user called Ethapus, which is my account. Okay. So here, what I'll be doing now is like, I am going to make some changes without being aware that green roots have already made changes into this file. I'll be making changes to the same file. So I have my editor over here and I'm going to say slip. Okay. So I have made some changes called slip. As the changes have been made, the next thing that I am going to do using my git bash, I am going to straight away going to stage these changes. So first I will do git status. I do this git status always is kind of a habit to check like, you know, what are the files got changed by me locally. So this is called task hyphen list.md has got changed, write file. Let's stage it using uh, git add uh, task list.md command. So it's taking some time. Yeah, so git add task hyphen list dot md. So this will go and, uh, you know, do the staging. The staging is done. The next thing we'll be doing a commit. So do a git commit minus m, add a task, a commit message, and I press enter. It should get committed. The commit is done. Now the next thing would be like git push origin main so i'm pushing to the remote my changes now if you notice over here this is this push is being done by etapus another git user on the same file on the same location that green roots have modified now etapus doesn't know that green roots have modified now what will be expecting an error by git saying that your branch is behind first you pull it before you make any changes and pushing it okay so let's see that as expected, I'm getting an error, failed to push. The reason being it is rejected because remote contains work that you do not have locally. So you have to pull. Now, Ethapus again, without knowing that some, you know, what kind of changes would have happened over here, we'll go and pull the changes. And this is when our merge conflict may arise. Okay, what do we see? We see like 
Git is trying to do auto merging, but this auto merging has failed because there is a conflict and we are into the merge conflict situation. Now we'll be going and resolving the merge conflict situation from here. For that, I'll go back to the editor again. And the moment I land into the editor, I see certain garbage characters over here, right? This is what most of the time people are scared of and they think merge conflict is a little bit dangerous item. Okay, so we'll tackle this. So there is a meaning of each of this character. All the outward arrow with this head keyword. From here till this equals, anything between this is something, your changes, local changes that are ready to go out and go to remote. That is why this outward arrow. Now from, from this equal till this inward arrow and this particular ID, this is a commit ID, last commit ID for this file, anything between these two is something inward. The changes are ready to come to you locally is there in the remote. Okay, this is the first meaning that you have to understand. Once you understand this meaning, everything is very easy. So from this outward arrow till this equals is your changes. From this equals to this inward arrow is changes that are there in the main already ready to come to you. Now you have to take a decision based on your applications use and usages that what changes you want to keep. Do you want to keep both of them sleep and gym or you want to keep just sleep or you want to keep just gym. Let's say you want to keep, keep just gym. So what you'll be doing, I'll be taking from here till here I'll delete. Taking from here till here I'll delete and then i'll be doing this okay this is my manual way of handling so only gym will be there now if i want to keep let's say only sleep so what i'll be doing in that case let me revert 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 all the changes that i have done oops sorry it's too much of reverting happened yeah so if i want to keep only the other one so the so ap appropriately i will change it now if you are in a vs code or any other kind of git uh, merge merge enable editor in that case you can do it in the click also like accept current change accept incoming change accept both the change or compare the change and then take so all these handles are there with the editor but when situation become complex it's better to do it a bit manually as you know wherever required so that you know exactly what you're doing so let's take a case of we want to keep both so we can click on this accept both changes and accept both or what i generally do i go ahead and simply delete this head this equals these things and then i know like what kind of formatting is required for this one i go ahead and i save it that's all my changes are right i am keeping both so based on what is your requirement you will be taking the call now next thing is i have made a change so what i have to do i have to commit this change so i'll be doing git add task list.md again staging is done so i'll be doing a git commit so i won't pass any message in this case just to want to showcase that if you don't pass any message after doing the march conflict resolution there will be a message automatically being added so it will go and add that message for you so this is the message like merge branch from this to this, this message got added. You can also customize it by putting a message of your choice with minus M, right? So that is all about, so I'll be accepting this particular one saying WQ. So the commit will happen. Now the final thing, what I'll be doing, I'll be pushing this change. But before I do this push, I just want to kind of go back to this view, the green roots merge info, you know, Etapus has made the change with the uh, slip but slip is not come yet because i have not pushed it so i am going ahead and pushing now my push should be successful as you see the push is done so my changes are now available over here if i just do a refresh i see slip also so i had decided the slip should come first and then gym should come had i decided based on my use case gym should happen first and slip should come i could have done the march conflict resolution accordingly so march conflict resolution is a bit of manual effort sometime you can use the editors to do automation as much as possible but the manual intervention is always good because unintentionally you don't want to delete certain things which you have taken redo later point of time so i hope this example was useful to you Let's talk about another scenario where the merge conflict resolution could be a little bit tricky. So in this scenario, what happened is like we have one file called nodes.md with probably some text in it uh, under the same project, merge demo project. So we'll delete this file from one account, say green roots, and from another account without knowing that we have deleted this file, we'll make some update to this particular file and see what happened, what kind of conflict that we kind of get into, right? So what we do over here is like this one, I'm going to delete this file directly. So this file will be deleted and I'm putting this comment directly 
okay so this file has been deleted now what i'll do is like my another account that i have a tapas account here this node.md is still there so i let me make some changes to it let okay i am taking notes so fine fair enough i save this then the next thing that i'm going to do over here is the regular stuff i'm going to add this commit this and push this okay so let's see so i'll do git add notes dot uh, what is the name it is like notes right notes dot md so git at notes dot md and after that we will commit this file let's do a commit git commit minus n some message added notes now finally we'll push it so git push origin main see what we get it says fail to push the ref because updates were rejected because my current branch is behind because same file has been already deleted by somebody so there is an additional commit and my uh, you know head the the local whatever i am doing right now it's behind so the next thing what we'll be doing as a developer will be doing pull so that i can up to date things now see what happens now git pull comes back with a conflict the conflict says nodes.md is deleted you know on the master or the main and but here we have modified modified in head so it's a pure merge conflict that we have to resolve so in this particular case when a file had got deleted i know by somebody and then you are modifying the same file you have an opportunity to decide whether you want to keep this file or you want to remove this file is the removal done by somebody else is the right call and you just want to accept it or it was not the right call you know you want to kind of make sure that you want to bring back the file so in either of the cases you have to take this call now if you have noticed here uh, you know once this merge conflict happened it's clearly saying that it's in the merging state right this branch is in the merging state it's not on not merge state when it is at the merge state you won't be seeing this pipe merging at all so in this case what we'll be doing we'll be first checking the git status let's see what is the status come back with so it says that deleted by them means it is deleted in the remote but you still have it in this case if you want to retain this file do git add nodes.md your changes will be written and after that you can do a commit and push but if you want to accept that it has to be removed then do the command git rm nodes.md the file name this file will be removed from your head as well and after that the regular course you have to do a git commit and the git push this kind of thing scenario you probably face in a project with the package uh, log.json or unlock file in that cases you know sometimes those files will be committed to the repository but later point of time the maintainer feels that okay we won't be putting unlock file into the repository and maintaining it and they delete it but it's still there with you locally and you get some kind of conflict on the situation so this is the time where you have to really really make sure that you do the right things okay so let's do a commit and push first we'll do a commit okay let's remove this git commit we'll get the default merge message over here that's what we get so we accept that message with wq now we will push and now this push will be successful here you go the push is successful so we have spoken to very vital scenarios in terms of merge conflict and how to handle them if you faced any other scenarios other than this please comment in this uh, video and i would like to kind of think through understand and if you need any help on those scenarios let me know uh, i'll try to help you know uh, on those scenarios as well so i hope those two scenarios you will keep in mind and keep practicing all right so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you will be able to take care of resolving merge conflicts in git from now onwards if so, please like and share this video so that others will also get a chance to look into it and probably learn from this one. Sooner, I'll get started with another video which is related to Git and open source. The video will be focusing on how to contribute to open source as a beginner. You want to get to that? All right. In a while, that particular video will be published. Okay. If you have not subscribed to this channel, don't, don't forget to subscribe because we'll keep sharing a lot of great stuff over here. Alright, until the next video, please take a great care of yourself. We'll be back very soon.